here we go. Well, we stayed there for the full hour. <laughs> now I feel like I'm like having to pay for all of that, so. I hope you dance, I hope you dance. And it's actually legal to listen to Christmas music. <laughs> it's actually just on right now. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. There's Mike. Hi, Mike. Hola! Good morning. How are you guys? It looks like I have nothing on. There we go. I have a shirt on, I promise you. <laughs> Getting ready to go for my vlog. Yeah. Mike and I have been working like banshees this morning. Uh, getting stuff done. It is a Monday morning. You know how that goes. I did a ton of work over the weekend, and we are wrapping it all up. Not wrapping it all up. Making it all happen today. My walk is normally at around 8.30. It is now... 11.30, um, but I will say this, I've kind of gotten off the walking path, if you know what I mean. Mike's going to the air, going to the office. I love you, thank you very much. He's gonna run some errands for me. It is, sweetheart. Good luck on the excelling part. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I have gotten out of my walk rhythm, my walk routine since Thanksgiving. Like, I just feel like it was Thanksgiving, and then we went to the football game, and then we came back, and then we went again to Orlando this weekend, and then, we had, it's just been, I don't know, it's just been nuts. So, I, oh, oh, I had a friend, we had a friend in town. She was in town all week and went out to dinner every night and had such a good time. And now I feel like I'm like having to pay for all of that. So I'm going for my walk regardless, even though it's a little bit later and it's a little bit hotter. Can you hear Alice? Mm hmm So this is what happened this morning. So Alice is, you know I've been walking the cats, not really walking the cats, but what I've succumbed to is I put a little leash on the kitties and, or like a little harness, and then I attach them to the leash that's attached to our front gate. So they have like a radius which they can walk and they can sit under the bushes or do whatever. Well today, she was being a little mischievous, so I just sort of decided, okay, I'm gonna let you out without it and I'm gonna walk and I'm gonna stand next to you. So she's out without her leash and I'm standing next to her. So she walks down the pathway and she goes like in the bushes and she climbs up the palm tree and comes back down, rubs herself against it, rolls around. Next thing I know, I'm like giving her a little bit more leeway. She goes and like scurries around. I'm like, she's chasing something. What, it was probably a lizard. All of a sudden, wee, 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 she comes out. She has a baby rabbit in her mouth. I didn't even know there were rabbits out there. I would have never, ever, ever let her in there if I knew there were rabbits in there. So she brings it all the way up to the front door because of course she wants to show me her prize and like, Tell me how much she loves me, and I love her too, but I made her drop the rabbit. I picked up the little baby rabbit. I tried to put him back. Well, I, I put him back. I don't know where his little nest is there, but I put him back where I thought it might be and out of the sunshine. I hope he's okay. I'm going to go check on him, but I don't know what else I can do for the little guy. He, did, he wasn't bleeding or anything, but um, I don't know. I hope Alice didn't hurt him. So now she's, now she's got a taste of outside, and now she has a taste of what's a literal taste of what's outside, and she won't stop meowing. So I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm leaving you. You're gonna have to figure it out by yourself. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go for my walk. Ryan's at school, Mike's running errands. I'm so excited the kids are coming home this week for Christmas, which is gonna be super hectic, but super amazing. Anyway, that's how my day is going so far. I hope you're having an amazing day. I will check in with you guys a little bit later and find out how your day is going. Comment down below, let me know. Are you like sort of still in that post Thanksgiving, if you're from America and you celebrate Thanksgiving, that post Thanksgiving, like, holy cow, I gotta get it back together? Or do you just say, what the heck, I don't care anymore, and you wait till January? <laughs> Cause I've thought about that too. But we are gonna be going away on vacation after Christmas, so so I kind of feel like I need to get back in shape and do all this stuff. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll see what happens the rest of the day. I know Ryan's... Ryan, what are you guys Ryan? So uh, I got Young Life tonight and it's uh, Christmas theme. It's our last club before Christmas. The theme was Ugly Sweater. So I'm wearing, I have an Ugly Sweater. It was Brennan's, but now it's mine and it's up in Maryland now. So what I'm is wearing it? this thing. It's the Chargers sweater. Oh, it's just ugly. Exactly. Is it is it because you're not a Chargers fan? Is that why you think it's ugly? No, 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 no. Well, it's ugly because it has like the goalpost right in the middle, and it's you know the layout of it is ugly. That's the same thing for Eddie. So I wonder where they came from. That's been getting more and more popular. Ugly sweaters. Ugly sweaters right? for sure. I wonder where it started. Yeah. yeah. Some poor sap walked in. He thought he had a nice sweater. And he's like, that's ugly. I love it. Let's yeah, do it. So he and embraced it. He said, I know. Like, yeah, it's ugly. And I'm gonna sell. I think that's an essential for someone to have because yeah. the amount of ugly Christmas sweater parties that come around at Christmas. Yes. Um, you know, you can only use it one time a year, or not one time, but you know, one month a year. But 
I think it's a good buy. I agree. I agree. It's so funny, you know, especially in a professional atmosphere. You see people in suits and ties all the time. Totally. And then one day they show up in this ugly bad sweater. It's like, that's, that's funny. That's, that's funny, right? Yeah. Especially yeah. if it says something funny on it. Yes. Tasteful, but funny. But you don't want Santa, Santa saying eat stuff. You want to, oh, right. Santa saying un, untoward stuff is not, not ugly. Well, it is ugly, but it's really ugly. It's like, what's the difference between snowmen and snowwoman? Yeah. Snowballs. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I don't know if we can keep that in. That's right on the edge. But that was something that would go on another Christmas Right Christmas. on right. the edge. I would not tell my clients that joke. That joke. Right. Other night we were at dinner, and they asked my, uh, the table if we had any jokes. Yes. I thought of that one, but... I I thought it'd be best to hold that. <laughs> That's good. That's very good. Yeah. So that that was discerning, right? Totally. Uh, well, I'm curious to know from the audience what, what do they think of that joke? If I mom uh, doesn't edit it out. All right. I think it's one of the greatest. Was, she, was that funny? <laughs> what do you think? If it was funny, comment yes below. Comment Ryan, you're the funniest below. <laughs> so uh, Monday, and then at the end of this week, um, we have the Army Navy game, which I've been counting down the days to. Oh right. Can't We're going, we'll also going to Rochester on Friday. We're going to. That's this weekend? Mm-hmm. Ra cha cha. Hey, if you're in Rochester, here we go. Oh. Ra cha cha. All right. Mm -hmm. well, the home of Eastman Kodak, Genesee Beer. And nice. And. Rory McElroy, right? No, his grandma lives there. In Is Rochester? That right? well, I heard something about Rory. Really? What were we talking about? What were we talking about, Rory? Yeah. Katie and Brent coming back on Thursday. We're out on Friday. You've got a half day of school. We're going to spring out of school. By the way, nice. Let's talk a little bit about school. How's that going? It's good. It's good. You keep it's saying that. It's good. Well, yeah, it's coming down to the end of the second quarter. How close are you to completing all your work with uh, with our friends in the marketing department? Very close. Okay, we should talk about that. Yeah, we started a new project. So. Oh, you did. Yeah. What is it? So we have to make our own business out of uh, a food truck. So I'm doing a food truck called the Dirty Dog, <laughs> inspired by uh, Orioles Park at Camden Yards, because uh, Camden Yards where the Orioles play, there's um, out in center field, there's this hot dog place, and you can get a mac and cheese, mac and cheese and crab meat and hot dog. So the Dirty Dog will sell, obviously, that, and um, just hot dogs with different toppings on them, like chili dogs, cheese dogs. Great. Dog. I love so, it. So, yeah, I'm doing So, that. what's the business plan? You got your food costs, you got your marketing costs. Right. Got... Menu items, how much right. you're going to price them at, where are you going to be. Sure. What's the cost of you know, fuel to get to those places. Here's what I've learned. As long as y'all always say, you don't even have to know what it means. Just say, oh, how, are you, how are your margins? That's the wrong term. <laughs> what? That's the wrong term. Oh, yeah. You're not going to, you're not going to school. No. Um, how are your margins? Just say, hey, how are your margins? And a margin is the difference between what it costs you to produce a dog, right? Mm -hmm. And what you're charging for, that's your margin. So Profit margin, but you say, you say margin just so that's it. That's how you sound smart? Yes. Um, all right, well, listen, it's gonna be a great evening. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Thank you. Make great decisions, right? Will do. Smile and laugh. What's that song? I hope you dance, I hope you Dad, have you heard that song? Never. It's a big song. Huh? Only a few years ago. Oldie but a goodie. Although mom doesn't like it very much because she heard somebody sing it. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't quite agree with it. So if you sing that song to her, I hope you dance. She'll, she'll get, get a kick out. She'll get a kick out. Okay. So. Oh, hey, what are we doing for Christmas? We have to figure out. Oh, we can't talk about it here because um, she's going to edit this and know what she's getting for Christmas. What, Mom? Yeah. You have any thoughts? On Mom's gift? Yeah. She's the only one that I don't know what I'm getting here. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting you. I don't know what I'm getting Katie. I think, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm getting Brennan. Mm -hmm. But Mom... She has everything. She does. Great husband. You're... you're beautiful, a, beautiful son. Yeah, right? <laughs> you're actually the hardest to shop for, but yeah. I came up with a gift early uh, this season. Really? So... Do not spend a lot of money, right? Well, don't spend a lot. Actually, don't spend any money. Okay. I would prefer a coupon back row. Okay. I'll throw a coupon back row in. Right. And can you buy me one like here? <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot buy one. Well, you just hang outside of the, out of the um, outside of the grocery store and say, "Hey, listen, Don, buy my dad." <laughs> you just 
just snag the Miller Lite. Yeah, you just hand him a 20. Can you help me out? They go to the dirty work. <laughs> Is he sure it's your dad? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, That's good. Have a great time. Thank you. Let's wrap this up. It's a little more. We're a little bit over. My mic. That is this on it. I hope you're having a great day. And I hope you're preparing for Christmas or Hanukkah or however you celebrate the holidays. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great, though. Yeah, it is going to be great. It's a nice, nice time of year. Guys, look at how proud I am of Ryan. He folded his laundry. He is one of the, you are one of the best um, laundry rollers that I know. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, Dad taught us this trick back, because uh, Dad would travel a lot for work, and he learned to roll his clothes. It's so 20 minutes back, so now I only roll my clothes, and it's great. It keeps them wrinkle-free, and you can fit more in, right? Exactly. Yep. Um, nice. So yeah, I did that. Young Life was really fun tonight. Um, what made me happy today was wearing all my Christmas stuff and seeing all my all my friends. We also closed down, so there's this local chicken joint that we all go to after Young Life, and uh, it closes at nine. So Young Life ends at eight. We all go. It's directly down the street from the club room. So we'll go and we'll hang out there. Usually for like thirty minutes, but we stay there for the full hour. And it was nine oh eight, and our leader Stephanie goes, "Hey, hey, they're closed." And we're like, Ooh. and they're like, all the employees are like packing up to go home. We're like, "Oh." So we had to leave. All right, you guys, I'm gonna share what made me happy today. Not Alice getting a bunny. Dude, that is hilarious. It's not hilarious, the poor little that sweet bunny. But he's still alive, obviously. But um, what made me happy today was my walk. You guys, down in Florida now, the weather is, it's December in Florida, which is spectacular. It's so beautiful. There's no humidity. It's chilly at night. It's warm during the day. So the air was like nice and clean and the sunshine was bright. Oh, I had such a beautiful walk. I walked four miles and I just wish I could walk longer. I wish I had more time to just walk. I would, I would walk 10 miles a day if I had the time and no other responsibilities, but I do. But that's okay. But it was wonderful and I will take what I can get and I loved my walk. Some people say it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's, some people do. Some people do. I imagine Dad's asleep. I imagine he is. So um, what yeah, made him happy yeah. was definitely driving you to, to uh, Young Life and to school today. I'm that positive. Was. Exactly. Oh, yeah. All right, you want to take us out? Guys, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Uh, and I hope you have a, a great Christmas. Obviously, we'll see you before then. But um, I love that we're getting back in the Christmas spirit. And it's actually legal to listen to Christmas music. Because <laughs> it's actually December now. But... Um, <laughs> Spread cheer, be festive. It's my favorite time of the year. Uh, go hug your mom. Come with me, guys. Have a day. We'll see you tomorrow. For the latest in live happy and love that family merchandise, visit lovethatfam.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.